Hello everyone, so today is a garage tour video. Oh, right, anyway, this is in the arena workshop. So I haven't got too many vehicles. There's still more I need to make, but I never made any more. But there's a couple more I want to make, but I will one day. It's just like whenever I'm bored or actually, well, at the time of recording, when I get actually fully get back into GTA again. But um, yeah, when I do, I'll, I'll make some more. But this is as of right now, and I think they look pretty cool. But it'll see what you think about them. Maybe tell us, you know, in the comments below which one is your favourite, but we'll see. So we'll start now. So the start of this one, so Apocalypse, uh, I like this one. It's a nice looking vehicle. I had to put the crew colour red because it's like the maximum brightest red you can get. And it looks amazing, especially when you take it outside at night, it glows. So it's a nice crew red. Um, but yeah, I, I like it. It's, it's probably, probably my second most favourite vehicle. Out of all the Vena War vehicles, I, f I would say, at least use it in free mode anyway. It's definitely the most um, f fun up there. Yeah, but I enjoy it. You know, um, I don't know if you know about the Vena War vehicles, but the spikes here, if you could say corner that, the spikes, um, yeah, even if you touch it, you die. So I think I'm okay anyway, like when I'm in here, but if you take outside or even use it in missions, it can kill people really. So, you know, and this at the front. This bit thing, this thing, I don't know what it's called, can't remember. But basically, if I go near a car behind it or just touch it, it'll make it go flying pretty much. It's like a ramp, like, attachment, basically. So make cars go flying a little bit. Um, and, of course, the machine guns at the front. Uh, they're, not, they're not the greatest in the world, but they're all right. It's worth putting them on. It's good for the looks and all that. So, and it can be useful if you actually use it in arena war missions and jobs, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, so it's good to have, like, customised vehicles for it. So that's this, this one. So now this one here, this one's a good one, this is a good fun to use. Um, it's probably not the most fun out of all of them, but I can pretty much say all the arena war vehicles, that are, at least what I've got so far, are really fun to use, but I'm just like, in my own opinion, on which one's like the top three best. But yeah, um, this is the Dominator, so yeah, this is a really good vehicle. Um, yeah, it's not much to be said really, it's kind of weird how these things work here, it's like a shield basically really. And it's like, hold on to a burner. I can't remember what burner it is as well. It's been a while when, when I use Arena War vehicles. But wherever it is, you can like drop this and... Well, that's it. Maybe because it's easier to drive around, actually. A little bit. If you take that off, it's kind of a bit awkward. But if you want it for defence, keep it on at all times, really, pretty much. Um, up here, you know, it's like ramp here. So you can ramp cars a little bit and push things out of the way. That's its job. And it does it pretty well, I'd say. Especially if you have good speed on it. Good speed and ramp into them. Yeah. Uh, machine guns at the end there, so that's really cool. And there's like antlers there, pretty much, if you want to call that as well. It's just decoration, really, so it's pretty cool. But yeah, it's not, I want to say it's my top three favourite, but it's nice, it's good to have it. Good to have it. This one, though, I'd say this one's my third favourite, mainly because of the looks, because it looks such of a beast, and I like the wheels. They glow a little bit if you take outside or in the dark areas. I mean, this fist, I mean, it's just so different. Sometimes it can be awkward sometimes with it, but. I just bought it de decoration. It's just such a funny thing and weird, unusual thing to have. So I just had to. Plus with the wheels and all that. I mean, it's huge. It's a beast. I think this is still the only monster truck in the game. I think, what well, I know of anyway, that you can customise. I think so anyway. But yeah, either way, um, it's it's crazy. It's, this is definitely a pack a punch. You get it? <laughs> yeah, terrible. All right, anyway, um... So yeah, this is my third favourite. Alright, so this next one here. So this is not my number one favourite, but this is a nice long... It's like a limo vehicle, limo version, basically, of like a weaponised vehicle. I mean, you can get one already with a turret and behind, but this is like 3.0 version then, basically. So it's pretty much like that. It's just nowhere to be said. It's like a limo, basically. It's just huge. But you'd be more safe than the other limos, I think, anyway. Speed-wise, you probably want to go for the old ones. But for defense and, and attack at the same time, then speed, this is the vehicle for you. Like, this is really good. I love this vehicle. I don't know if I used it in Arena War Missions, though. But at least when I use it for free mode, it's good fun. I enjoy it. It's definitely worth my purchase, anyway. But I might say, though, if you're ever going to buy any Arena War vehicles and to customize, it's going to cost you millions. 
So make sure you at least have like two or three million to at least. That's probably not even fully customizing, but that's at least to make a difference. So yeah, make sure you have a lot of millions. This is like luxury vehicles, really, basically. Only buy if you've got money to spare in the game. And this is the last one. So this is my favorite, um, the death bike, but the future shock kind of livery and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, this is my favorite. Uh, this is my number one because it's just durable. It can jump, it can shoot. Um, it's got a little arm at the back a little bit, so it helps a little bit, especially when you use it in Arena War missions on that. The handling is pretty good. The machine guns are decent. They're pretty decent. Um, you know, it's got the chainsaws or whatever, you know, to cut the tires or do some damage when you use it in Arena War missions yet again. Like, yeah, th this is the W. And even for free mode, it's really good fun, mainly for the jump, I'd say. That oh, and it has the boost. I forgot it has the boost. That lasts a really long time. So, um... You know, maybe one day I should make a review on it, maybe. Um, but I've, at this time in corner, I haven't yet. But maybe one day. But either way, um, spoilers, it would be a positive review. But yeah, it will be a good one to make one day. Because I'm sure I definitely will. But yeah, look at that. The diamonds. Oh, yeah. Nah. I had to make it gold. I don't know why, but I just had to. There. It was like a thing I had to with the, uh, the future version of it. I don't know if you see the livery there. But yeah, um... So, you know, that's my number one favourite, really. So, I'll go in the order then. So, this is my number one favourite. Um, number two. Number two is this one. Because I didn't say number two. I was... So, yeah, this would be number two. This is my second favourite. And then number three will be this one. Um, and then my fourth one will be this one. This will be my fourth one because it's really good to use, even in actual mission itself, the Venable missions, but Freeman as well, it's, it's awesome to drive. And then the last one, I say this one in my opinion, I just, I know, it's, if you want the top speed and acceleration, this would be the one for you, but attack and, like, defense, it's, it's okay, I'd say, it's, it's you know, but I, you can't say much about that one, though, because it's just all uh, aggressive and all that, but... Still, I don't know. I have more fun with that one over there than this one. But that's my opinions, obviously. And that's what the vehicles I've got so far, though. But, yeah, this is just basically a quick garage tour in the Novena War. So, um, that'll probably be it for now, at least a little while. Um, but, yeah. Um, so, if it's, you know, uh, that's, well, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so, if you're enjoying this video, um, make sure to give this video a like. If you're new here, maybe subscribe. It's up to you. If not, um, check out the playlist for the other garage tours on GTA 5. And hopefully in the future I might do a couple more. But until then though, um, yeah. Thank you for watching everyone.